23-year-old Malaika Matlati, commonly referred to as Malaika Wazania, is one of South Africa's forces to be reckoned with and can be seen as a product of democratic dispensation. I am the African Union African Youth Charter Ambassador for the SADC region. I sit in the African Youth Panel, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, rich, it's a, it's a continental body that is um, recognized by the African, African Union. Then lastly, I have recently been appointed, um, elected rather, by the United, United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, as the regional coordinator for SADC region. This young political activist grew up under poor circumstances in Meadowlands, Soweto. I grew up in a family of about seven of us or so. Uh, it was myself, my, my mother, my grandmother, and her children, four of her children, right? And um, it was a, a poor family like many other families in Soweto. It was quite a very poor family. We grew up in, a, I think, for about 12 to 13 years of my life, we were living in a shack until we later moved on to a house, back to a shack, and ultimately to an RTP settlement in the outskirts of, of Soweto, which is really not far from where I had, I had grown up. Although I grew up in a township, poor like everybody else, in the same condition, same environment, I always had a mother who, you know, who enabled me, who allowed an environment in which I could grow intellectually. Due to her interest in politics, Malaika saw herself join Julius Malema, Floyd Shivambu, and other members in founding the revolutionary political party Economic Freedom Fighters in 2013. The EFF experience for me was, was profound in very many ways. Profound in that for the first time, I was part of the establishment of a new and an alternative, you know, not just an alternative discourse, but also an alternative solution for the South African problem. But it was also profound in that I got to understand the nature of you know, this monster that we call politics. Malaika, over the years, has expressed her political consciousness in writing. Having written for numerous publications in the country, Malaika claims that her views make people, particularly white South Africans, very uncomfortable. For me, writing is, I always say that I, I'm not just a writer, I'm a protest writer and I'm an identity politics writer because my writing is not just an expression of my political view, it's also an attempt at reclaiming a space that has been denied, on, that, have, that black people have been denied for so long, which is the opportunity and the space to narrate our own problems, our own struggles, our own life, our own, you know, our own story. Malaika does not think she is free. I don't think there is any young black person who is free, including those who think they are free. I don't believe that such is the case. Because for me, freedom encompasses so much. Freedom is not just about, um, you know, the ability and the right, the democratic right to vote. Freedom is more than just about the ability to access institutions of higher learning as we are doing now. I'm able to go to, to Rhodes University, right? But, you know, does a working class person who goes to Rhodes University afford to go into Rhodes?